All right, you guys, praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day. Come on, somebody, give him praise, give him glory, give him honor. Okay, so I want to, um, and I apologize, I was supposed to do this about two days ago, but as you know, I'm actually on assignment in Atlanta. Um, I got a lot going on, <laughs> if you only knew, but God is good, God is good. So I want to talk about spider witchcraft because I, I think a lot of people don't understand what's really going on these days. I'm going to try to make this as simple as I can, and it's real self-explanatory. I learned about spider witchcraft in 2016. I'm talking about I really learned about it when I lived here in Atlanta, to be honest with you. Um, I would come home, and I'm a very clean person if, you know, those that know me personally. Um, so I could not understand why the spider webs was coming up like, over, and it would always be in the same place. It would be on my lamp. And so, I mean, every day I'm, you know, dusting it off. Do I say, I don't understand. God says, understand who you're letting in your house and understand about witchcraft. So long story short, I'm going to tell you something. Have you been seeing spiders? I'm going to ask you a couple of questions first. Have you been seeing spiders? You know you're a clean person, but notice they pop up. They'll pop up in a corner, most likely, on stairs, most likely, on objects. And so I'm going to go through with you. Let me tell you something. There is only two powers that are present these days. That's the anointing of the Holy Ghost, and there is witchcraft, which is which is the devil's power. Point blank in the story. People think you have to be a witch in order to, to operate in witchcraft. No. Any person or persons that operate under demonic entities, they are, are actually doing witchcraft, point blank. They could be, now most, of course it'd be witches, warlocks, but we're talking about children, ship shifters, anybody that actually opens a door to demonic possession, aggression, Understand, I say possession and aggression. Y'all y'all understand why all this rage and all these people are killing people. Y'all got to understand this is witchcraft. So let me go ahead and let me do this right now. Praise God, praise God. All right, all right, here we go. Let me walk this thing out with you. All right, so they who do items. If you notice, spiders are what affiliated with what, um, what pagan holiday. Halloween, right? Notice that. Okay, so this is what they believe. To keep a woman faithful without giving her money, fold a spider web in her name and keep in your wallet. These are what people do. So y'all be thinking, oh, you know, y'all better watch out for these things. To fix someone and cross them up and their hair in a spider web and sprinkle it with grave dirt. Do you understand? And I'm showing you these things because guess what? If you see people operating under some of these things, do you know they're doing witchcraft? Spider webs are great for binding, add to any spell to bind your target. You understand what they're doing? So this is what they do. And notice what they used to, what did they call a woman that kills a man? They call her a black widow. Y'all better start understanding the lingo. Because here's the thing. You have to understand their lingo in order to defeat them. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So this is what they do. They roll a pink or red candle over a spider web to capture an attractive lover's heart. Burn over a sugar bowl or honey. Y'all y'all understand some of the stupid stuff they do? To keep someone away from you, hang their name in a paper or a spider web. Witches and warlocks operate in what I'm telling you. Listen to this. To catch a thief, capture a spider web on a black cloth. What the heck? And hang it over your door. Let me tell you something. Everything in the in witchcraft is hoodoo, voodoo, curses, and spells. They operate like that. One of the things that they love to use, y'all, let me tell you something. When you comb your hair, quit throwing your hair. I know people that throw their hair on the floor. They just leave it. I don't play that game. I either flush it, wrap it in a, um, paper, uh, a paper or toilet paper, and I flush my hair. Point blank in the story. I used to burn it, just to be honest with you, but I don't like the smell of it. I don't want anybody getting my hair. I'm just telling y'all, this stuff is real. Now, let, let me tell you, and again, I'm telling you what they think. I'm not telling y'all how to do this stuff. This curse upon a curse when you do witchcraft, okay? So the, the hair corresponds to the head, right? The will and the mind. Adding this personal effect to a working will have the greatest impact on these areas of your target. Now look what they say. To make someone obey you, put their hair in a bottle of vinegar and shake it up. They will submit to you. This is what they do. This is what they do. Keep your hair. I'm telling you. First of all, I don't let anyone touch my head because that's a form of laying hands. 
You understand what I'm saying? So this is the stuff they do. That's why you have to be very careful. And, and I'm not saying be scared. I'm saying being careful. I don't like people playing in my hair. Don't don't play. Don't even touch my hair. I'm like, oh, it's so pretty. I don't like that because I don't know if you're trying to pull a string out or come on somebody. And notice they don't use. They don't need a whole lot of hair. Three hairs. And notice that's the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Y'all understand how these devils and witches operate from your head? Come on, somebody. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. I'm just showing y'all what they're doing in this hour. This stuff is not, it's not funny. This is not funny. Okay, I got some more stuff. Hold on. All right. They believe in spider curses transferred through being a measure of a spider. And the best cure, they say, is fire. You know, so I'm just telling y'all that you have to be, you have to be very careful. Um, they try to get an object. I'm trying to show y'all object or article of clothing. So when people are trying to do stuff that doesn't make sense, you need to know your enemy. So I'm going to tell you, you need to know your enemy. When people start operating and, and want some of your stuff and y'all ain't married, what, what, you, what you need with my stuff for? What, what you want? Well, as a matter of fact, um, <laughs> I'm just telling y'all. I'm just telling y'all, hold on. The origin of a spider curse is this. Legends of the spider curse date back for over, I want y'all to see, four million years ago. No, no, no. Let, let, let me go ahead and bring this back to y'all because y'all don't think y'all understand unless y'all see it. Legends of a spider curse date back over four million years ago. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all understand what's happening here? So I don't, so when spiders were first involving the crab-like and creepy ancestors. Now, a lot of people don't understand why am I talking about this? Because God says in this last hour, there are so many people walking among you that's doing all kind of crazy stuff. And God says that he will not have you ignorant. You know, um, people, they, they even wear spider jewelry. Uh, look at this, look at this, spider jewelry. So they let you know who they are. You got to watch people. You got to watch people. And, and it's spider in voodoo. Okay, so basically what I'm saying to y'all, what am I saying? Apostle is saying, watch, watch people, you guys. You got to watch in this hour. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to try to bring it back to the um, picture I had. So spider and witchcraft. So what God was telling me is that people operate under this spell. People operate. Actually, they put the spell on themselves to actually in incantinate somebody else. So what am I saying? You have to watch. You have to have wisdom and discernment in this hour. The enemy is using all kind of tricks and witchcraft in this hour like never before. I've never seen so much witchcraft in my life. I'm not playing up from diseases to things that don't smell right. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. How do you know? You have to pray and have wisdom and discernment. Okay, somebody said on here, I was reading earlier when I started this, they say, Apostle, I don't know how you do it. Honey, you better learn how to fast. I don't care if it's the 12 o'clock. All right, let's be honest. You better learn how to fast so you can ask God, God, show me what they're doing. God, show me who's doing it. Because here's the deal. The most of the people that's going to try this with you is not people far away from you. It's people that are close to you. They paying people to come in, y'all. I keep telling y'all, y'all think this is a game. I'm not getting up on here playing games for nothing. These people are paying people to come in. Right now, we're on a big stage. Come on, somebody. It's a big stage. The earth has a big stage and people are performing. So you better understand who's performing and who's real. Come on, somebody. Who's Hollywood or who, ha who has the Holy Ghost? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Uh, somebody said you can't. You can't. Yes, you can fast. Let me tell you something. Fasting works. Fasting works and prayer works, but they have to be together. That's and it actually can break witchcraft. I'm telling you right now, praise God, praise God, anointing yourself. So, flies, you say, What about flies? I'm actually, I'll get to that one next. But here's the deal when God made things, remember, God made two this and two that. So, wait a minute, you see spiders in groups. I'm gonna ask y'all a question on here. Did God make everything that you see? Before you say yes, I want you to understand something. On that sixth day, God looked around and he said, everything that I made was good. Oh, come on, somebody. So I'm going to go ahead and just tell y'all the answer. God did not make everything. You can say what you want. God didn't make drugs. God didn't make thugs. Oh, Deanna, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm trying to tell y'all something. So everything that you see, oh, well, God made it. That is not true. What God made, God said, what I made is good. So anything that tries to come against you that's bad, that's not God. I just said something. I just said something. In this last hour, people of God... 
You better call it like it is. You better see what's going on. Open your eyes. God says they're trying to blind you in the spirit. You see, if, if, if they can't really curse you. Come on, somebody, I'm preaching. The enemy can't curse you, but he can make you curse yourself. Let me tell you how people are falling. People are falling on their emotions in this hour. And the reason why you're falling by your emotions is because you're thinking with your emotions. You're going to have to be strong in this hour. You cannot go be ruled by your emotions, people. And I know that's hard because guess what? Most people are emotional during this hour. You got to have self-control and you have to be strong. And you have to ask God. I, I, I've been teaching this for years. When you meet someone, people, and even after you meet them, I don't care if it's a family member, I need you to say this. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, show me who they are. Show me their spirit because a tongue will lie to you all day and long. Y'all know people that lie. You be knowing they lying and you're still talking about, I love them. I love her. I, I might love you, but I ain't going to trust you. Y'all better understand what's going on here. What is love? Because God is love. And if you're trying to hurt me in any capacity of my life, then the devil is a lie and so are you. So with that being said, y'all better just ask for wisdom, discernment before God, before you do anything. The Bible says, test the spirit by the spirit. If you are not doing that, you are, you, you are actually opening up yourselves to all kind of things that is not of God. And in this last hour, you don't want to do that. Because guess what? It's real out here. I'm going to say it again. It's getting real, real out here. I have never seen demonic activity like I see today. So with that being said, be mindful, be strong in the Lord. You better learn to fast and pray. And even if it's to 12 o'clock, ask God for wisdom, discernment, anoint yourself, deal with reality. What I mean by that, y'all be seeing stuff and yet y'all keep on going. And then when they hurt you or something happened, well, I don't understand. Yeah, you understood when God gave you those signs, when, he, when you saw them ready for legs and you kept on trotting. When you see them red flags, start asking questions. Everything is not just, everything is not spiritual. And what I mean by that is sometimes you just need to ask people questions. And if the answers don't line up with God, then you know you need to get up out of that situation. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just telling you the truth. So God bless you. God keep you. That's right. They be setting themselves up, Nikisha. Because we talk about the enemy setting us up. Can I tell you something? Sometimes we set up ourselves because we don't want to hear truth. We don't want to believe truth. We don't want to walk in truth. So I pray that you are strong in the Lord. Stay. This is the eighth day of the fast. I know it's not easy, y'all. But let, let me tell you something. We're all human, right? If you fall, just get back up. Just get back up. And that's in life. So God bless you. God keep you. I'm praying for you all. Be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who you are. God bless.